Hi, this is Christine for Trinity Stamps. Today we're going to make a slimline card using new stencils that just came out yesterday. These are the layered pine stencils and it allows you to do a solid image and then another layer on top that can be darker right here and then a third layer where you can add some snow. Then there's some other images that you can use, some of which I will be using and some of which I won't be using. So here is a slimline card. I am placing it and trying to make sure that everything that I'm going to put on it will fit. So I want to get those extra items, the star on top and um, the light as well. So I'm measuring it out beforehand and now I'm placing tape so that I can keep my project clean. So first color I'll be using is Evergreen Bow, a Distress Ink. And I'm placing it pretty heavily on there, trying to get in all the nooks and crannies using the Blending Buddy. And you want to make sure that it's good and dry before you add the next layer. So at this point I let it dry definitely for an hour. Now this is the second layer and I'm adding a darker green. And it's actually not a Distress Oxide ink. I didn't have a darker color that I liked. So um, it's just a dye ink and it works fine with placing it over the Distress Oxide ink. So that goes to show you just use whatever you have. Again, I'm pressing pretty heavily. I want to get that color in there. And already you can see our tree taking shape. So this is now the third layer. I'm using Icicle Blue Sparkle. It's a paste. So now I'm switching things up to make the snow and I'm using it wherever I can. And as you'll see in a moment, I'm going to have to do multiple layers. So here I've done the first layer and now I'm adding another layer and you can see it's kind of blue which I don't like too much. I want it to be more white. I want it to be a little bit blue sparkly but not quite that blue. So I'm adding another layer and off camera you won't see me add a third layer but I actually did add a third layer and I think it helped. So here's the second layer and off camera I've done the third layer. So this is after three layers of paste. And now I want to add the star on top and um, sort of the shine that goes with it. So I just add, I'm using Scattered Straw Distress Oxide ink. And again, taping it so I won't mess up my project. And using my Blending Buddy, getting that all in there. This is more for um, just marking where I'm going to put it. I'm going to use some gold paste so it really shows. Um, it just allows me to line up all the other elements and it won't even show afterwards. So here I'm just adding more scattered straw, getting it really well into the stencil, and then the third layer. And again, I don't want to get anything on my project. I don't mind getting stuff on my hands, um, but I definitely want to try to not get it on the project. So there we go. That's sort of the blueprint. And you're going to see now I'm going to use, use any gold paste you have. Um, this is just the gold paste I happen to have. Um, 
I've had it for a while and not used it much, but um, I thought this was a perfect occasion. So it is from Fabric Castell. It's this really creamy gold. And it really, it's like butter. I don't put too much on, but it, it really spreads really nicely. And there you go. That's what it looks like so far, and I think it adds a lot. So here's the finished card. Um, I did a lot off camera cut, die cutting, but I, this was really a tutorial about the stencil. So I've added some more distressed oxide ink around the tree and some glitter paper and some more die cut images. And I'm very happy with how this turned out, and I hope it inspires you as well. Thank you for watching.